welcome. Um, my name is Steph Hopper, head teacher at Haylands Primary School. I'd welcome you and uh, it'd be my privilege to show you the school. We're in one of the Key Stage 2 classrooms. You can see that the design and build um, aspect were to maximise on the size of the learning spaces and you can see that in the room that we're stood in at the moment. This replicates um, many of the classrooms in the school. We're looking at large learning spaces for the children. Each classroom has a 3D interactive projector as part of the project and we're hoping that's going to inspire the children to take their learning to another level, certainly thinking of the 21st century. So they're wonderful learning spaces for the children to be in and certainly the children are enjoying being in these spaces. The LRC design and the visualisation of that space was about how we could combine a library research area with internet access. So you now see a space which again uses the, the, the atrium and the light but also allows learners to access the internet, access reading material. So we're hoping that's going to be another space that will inspire the children as learners and also offer a resource to the community in terms of another learning space after hours. Here in the studio you can see again it's another open space, again it, it allows us to do presentations to the students and the learners but also again with the community feel is, it's another space that we can use to support community involvement. Uh, we already have a number of classes that are interested in, in using this space and again it adds another dimension to what we're providing here at the school. With the new build came the new kitchen. Uh, it's state of the art. It's got all mod comms in there. But the canteen areas, again, some of the children have really been impressed with, and they've had some very positive comments from the children around uh, school lunches. Hopefully, looking at the school meals improving um, over time, which is fantastic. Thought was also given to the outside areas. Again, we worked with the design architects who actually met with the school council, so the children had a bit of an input into the outside play areas, which you can see. The climbing wall is a big, a big feature. The children really enjoy using the climbing wall. We've used some of our existing play equipment that we bought from the old school to populate some of the other areas. So the children have got a, a, a wonderful outside space to use at break times and actually for learning as well. Each each classroom has its own class garden and we're hoping to develop those over time so that children will be growing their own fruit and vegetables and hopefully feeding that back into the kitchen and the kitchen producing food from, from what the children have grown. So that's all part of the future. We've got uh, two full banks of photovoltaic cells, solar power, which is feeding back into the, the system. You can see from the front entrance the solar power and energy saving meter. So that's being fed back into the system. So we're being as green as we can. It's exciting. The children can then monitor how much energy we're saving and how much energy we're using in the school. Again, using the natural daylight, we're hoping that that will save on our service costs and uh, you know, hopefully promote you know, the eco-island agenda.